Uh, last week, a U.S. District Court judge granted the National Abortion Federation a permanent injunction against undercover journalist and pro-life acti activist David Delighton. The injunction blocks the release of hundreds of hours of video recorded at the group's national conferences. And now David Delighton's attorneys are appealing that case. Joining us now to talk more about this is Peter Breen, Vice President and Senior of counsel at the Thomas More Society, which represents David Delight. And Peter, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. First off, can you give us a little more background on these videos that your client recorded at the National Abortion Federation conferences? What can and can't you tell us about them? Well, I can't disclose the contents of them, but there are hundreds of hours taken at two annual trade shows of the entire abortion industry at the National Abortion Federation Conference, 2014, 2015. There is explosive content on these videos. Again, can't I can't tell them about uh, tell you about them. David can't tell you about them. But uh, the American people deserve to see these videos. In this court, uh, our judge said he saw nothing wrong on the videos. Well. 20 attorneys general have filed briefs in the Ninth Circuit saying that they found illegal conduct in David's other videos, and numerous, the Congress uh, and other entities have all found illegal conduct here. The American people deserve to see and decide, is this illegal? Was it unethical? How should we react as a people? And so that First Amendment right of David's to speak is also our First Amendment right to receive and see this information. Again, taken at a trade show in public locations, an 800 person, person trade show of the whole abortion industry. Yeah, and I want to talk a little bit more about those other videos previously recorded by David, allegedly showing the illegal sale of body parts, that is, and fetal tissue from aborted babies. You know, that's something that a lot of Americans had no idea about. What does this permanent injunction do to stop that flow of information? Well, and these hundreds of hours included materials that were related to but different than what you had seen previously, along with new material. Just, I mean, incredible disclosures that the American people need to see uh, that would uh, cause, again, another black eye on the abortion industry. When David's original videos, the Center for Medical Progress videos came out in 2015, the nation went into an uproar. Both political parties' presidential primary elections were uh, thrown up, at, in, in, up for grabs. This was a topic at the, at the debates. And it caused the American people to focus on this issue of, of the rights of unborn human beings and the dignity of every person in a way that, that, that none of our other efforts had in for many years in the pro-life movement. So what these videos being released would do is, again, allow the American people to reflect on what does it mean to be human? What are those, what is the dignity of each person? So by silencing these videos, uh, this federal court has acted as a censor. There's one person in the country that had the ability to allow these to come out, and uh, that you know the, the judge decided to to instead conceal them with a permanent injunction. We're going up to the Ninth Circuit in hopes of getting that reversed, and if we can't get relief at the Ninth Circuit, we will go to the United States Supreme Court. Well, Peter, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Peter Breen, Vice President and General Counsel at the Thomas More Society. Thank you again. Thank you.